flying fighter jets is not just about pulling G's. It's about how your body will handle the whole stress of the mission. If your body fails, the jet doesn't really matter that much, right? So the first thing is G tolerance. This is priority number one. It is how your body handles the G force in a high G turn. The way you do that is through your core and your legs, generating pressure by squeezing them and forcing that blood back up. If you can't do that, you're blacking out and it's game over. So we train this through heavy compound lifts like squats, deadlifts. The second thing is about posture. And this is a huge issue with fighter pilots because oftentimes they get neck and back problems later in life from pulling G's continually over the course of their career. And that seat that you're in, it's designed for performance, not for comfort. The third thing is vestibular control. So how do you keep your senses when you are rapidly rolling, pulling in the vertical, watching the other airplane, trying to decide what that airplane is doing so you can choose your own reaction? All of this is contributed to through your vestibular control, keeping your senses under turbulence and constant maneuvering. The best experience for that is just exposure, getting out there and training to it. This is why we train like we fight. So the bottom line is that tactical performance in the F-16, it's not just skill and knowledge of flying, but it's also how your body can handle the stress, the pressure, the sharp turns, the high Gs, the extreme stress of everything going on. And it starts in the gym with the human performance element.